hi, what is the value of a, given that you have root of a into root of a into root of a equals 3, then let's have it to be solution. And let's say method 1. So we want to apply the method 1 to this one. From here, let's square both sides. Let's put them in parentheses as this equals. Take it to the power of 2. And this we have to be equals. This we cancel this. So we have a multiplied by root of a into root of a equals 3 to the power of 2. From here, let's square it again. So we are going to have, when we have px to the power of 2, this equals as when we have p to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 2. When we apply it here, we are going to have a to the power of 2 multiplied by root a into root a to the power of 2 equals this 3 times 2, 2 times 2 will give us 4. We have here to take it to the power of 4. So from here we have a square multiplied by this, we cancel this. So we have a multiplied by root a equals take it to the power of 4. So from here, this one has power 1. So far they have the same base, we can add the power together. We are going to have a to the power of 2 plus 1 multiplied by root of a equals take it to the power of 2. So we have a to 2 to the power of 3. 2 plus 1 will give us 3. We have a to the power of 3 multiplied by root a equals take it to the power of 4. So from here, let's square it again. So this will be a to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 multiplied by root of a in parentheses to the power of 2 because 3 to 4 multiplied by 2 will give us 8. So here will be a to the power of 3 times 2 will give us 6 multiplied by this and this we cancel a equals 3 to the power of 8. So from here this one has power 1 so we are going to have a to the power of 6 plus 1 equals 3 to the power of 8. So from here we have a to the power of 7 equals 3 to the power of 8. So to eliminate this, we can take the 7th root of both sides. So we are going to have a to the power of 7 in parentheses to the power of 1 divided by 7 equals 3 to the power of 8 to the power of 1 divided by 7. So this and this will cancel. So we have a to be equals 3 to the power of 8 divided by 7. So uh, we can have it as 7 root of 3 to the power of 8. This and this are the same. So if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe for more math tutorial videos. Then let us also check for the second method and comment. So to apply the method 2, we have to know that this a has how many roots? 1, 2, 3. This A has 3 roots. Why this A has 1, 2, 2 roots? Why this A has only 1 root? So from here, we are going to have the first A to be root of A multiplied by the second will be root, root of A. The third will be root, root, root of A, then equals 3. So having done this one, we must know that 
root root a or root equals a to the power of 1 divided by 2 this so therefore when we apply it here we are going to have a to the power of 1 divided by 2 multiplied by this will be a to the power of 1 divided by 2 in parentheses to the power of 1 divided by 2 multiplied by the third a 1 divided by 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 equals 3. So from here we have a to the power of 1 divided by 2 multiplied by a to the power of 1 times 1 will be 1, 2 times 2 will be 4, multiplied by 1 times 1 times 1 will be 1 divided by 2 times 2, 4, times this will be 8, then equals 3. So we see that this is the SCM, so we have a to the power of 8. 2 here is 1, 2 in 8 will give us 4. 4 here is 1, 4 in 8 will give us 2. 8 here is 1, 8 here is 1, we have here to be 1, then equals 3. So, we have a to the power of 4 plus 2 give us 6, plus 1 will give us 7, divided by 8 equals 3. So the next thing we can do is to make sure that we want to eliminate this 8 by raise the power of both sides by 8. So we have 8 to the power of 7 divided by 8 and parentheses to the power of 8 will be equals 3 to the power of 8. So from here, this man we cancel this. So we are going to have only 8 to the power of 7 equals 3 to the power of 8. And so by so doing, we also want to eliminate this 7. So we can also have this as a to the power of 7 to the power of 1 divided by 7 equals 3 to the power of 8 to the power of 1 divided by 7. So from here, obviously, this will cancel this. So we are going to have a to be equals 3 to the power of 8 divided by 7. And we can simplify this as a will be equals 7th root of 3 to the power of 8. And this is the final answer for the value of a. So we applied different methods. We applied the method 1 and method 2. So comment in the comment section below which method is fast and appropriate. So if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe for more maths tutorial videos. Bye-bye.